Hey, what's going on guys? It's Stats Nest here, back with another stat video inside of Call of Duty Mobile. Now, inside of today's video, we're going to be talking about the brand new attachment on the HVK and basically what it does to the weapon and whether or not it'll actually make the HVK a viable weapon inside of higher level play, like ranked and in tournaments and just stuff like that. We're basically just going to be looking if the HVK is actually a good gun now with this attachment. Now, if you guys are wondering exactly what attachment I'm talking about, if we go ahead and go into the HVK gunsmith and then go to ammunition, you can see the brand new attachment is going to be the large caliber ammo which you can actually unlock by getting 50 headshots with the hvk now i know what you guys are thinking you're wondering why don't i actually have this attachment now the reason i don't have it on this hvk is because i do have it on the brand new hvk maximum security so as you can tell i do have it unlocked and i have used it so i've actually already been able to play with it and test the weapon and do everything i need to to basically assess the attachment without actually having to unlock it on just the normal model but again if you guys want to get it for yourselves all you need to do is just get 50 headshots with the hvk which hopefully shouldn't take too long but 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 by the end of the video, you guys will know whether or not it's going to be worth it for you to actually grind for this attachment. The cool thing, though, is if you do actually want to get your hands on the HVK 30 maximum security, you can actually get it in the brand new lucky draw, which you can check right here with the prison break draw. And actually inside of this lucky draw, COD Mobile did give us one free draw. So definitely do your one free draw. And then if you want to do more than that, feel free. But it is really cool that we actually did get one free draw from this. I actually have seen a couple people pull the HVK in their very first draw. It is super rare, but might as well do it because it is free. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk about what the attachment actually does to the HVK. And once again, that's going to be the large caliber ammo. So obviously we can see what it says it does right here. I will go a little bit more in depth so you guys can see exactly what the difference is with and without the attachment. But basically it says it's going to increase the damage, the limb hit rate, the range, and then it's going to decrease the vertical recoil control the magazine capacity and the ADS speed. So now let's go ahead and dive a little bit deeper and see exactly what this means for the HVK. Now, first off, let me tell you that testing this was an absolute pain because for whatever reason, the damage and range stats inside of the training lobby weren't accurate. So basically, the ranges and then how much damage you would deal and all of that just wasn't right inside of the training lobby for some reason. So what I decided to do was hop into a custom game and do all of the tests inside of that to actually see how much damage you would be dealing, how many shots it takes to kill, all of that stuff and get the 100% most accurate numbers that I could for you guys. So first, let's go ahead and start off with the damage before and after adding the large caliber ammo. So the damage profile with the HVK without this attachment is going to be from 0 to 30 meters, you're going to deal 20 damage or 26 damage to the head. From 31 meters to 50 meters, you're going to deal 18 damage or 23.4 damage to the head. And then from 51 meters and above, you're going to be dealing 16 damage or 20.8 to the head. But with the large caliber ammo, it is completely different. I still haven't figured out exactly how it works or anything, but basically this is what the damage profile is going to look like. From 0 to 15 meters, you're going to deal 24 damage to the legs, 30 3.1 damage to the upper body and then 44 damage to the head now once again i know it says 48 damage inside of the training lobby but that is not accurate it is 44 damage then from 16 to 65 meters you're going to deal 23 damage 28.4 damage and then 41 damage then from 66 meters and above you're going to deal 15 damage 19.8 damage and then 31 damage so as you can tell it is basically a significant damage and range buff to the weapon except for kind of like the leg damage at longer ranges but that doesn't matter too much especially since you you shouldn't really be using this weapon at those kind of ranges also the fire rate is exactly the same at 711 rounds per minute which is generally on the faster side it's right in between the hbr and the pdw roughly now because this weapon has three different multipliers which is going to be the legs the upper body and then the head the shots that it actually takes to kill someone will be pretty dependent on where you're hitting someone in the body which we'll talk about a little bit more very soon and i'll give you guys some tips and tricks on how to use this weapon and where to aim but let's go ahead and talk about the possible time to kills that you can actually get with this weapon if you are hitting all of your shots obviously if you miss shots the time to kills will be a little bit lower but regardless let's go ahead and talk about what the possibilities are this weapon can actually actually three shot kill which we'll talk about how to do that very soon but the three shot time to kill is going to be 169 milliseconds which by the way is ridiculously fast for comparison the fastest time to kill you can get with the msmc is 195 milliseconds so this is still going to kill faster than the msmc by a pretty decent amount now keep in mind that is going to be kind of a difficult time to kill to achieve which we'll talk about soon but still that is going to be the fastest possible time to kill and then the four shot time to kill which is probably your most typical time to kill that you're going to get is going to be 253 milliseconds which is still pretty fast that's about the same as the hbr a3 up close then your five shot time to kill is 338 milliseconds your six shot time to kill is 422 then your seven shot is 507 milliseconds so let's go ahead and break down the time to kill a little bit more and i'll also kind of help you optimize this weapon 
weapon and try to get the fastest time to kills that you possibly can and then after that we'll talk about some of the downsides of this attachment and then we'll also look at my favorite class but by the way if you guys are enjoying this video thus far definitely make sure to drop a sub down below because i'm trying to do as much cod mobile content as i can right now and currently we're on the road to 500,000 subscribers but anyway let's go ahead and get right back into the video this weapon does have extremely fast time to kill potential with a three shot time to kill of 169 milliseconds as i said before very fast now up to 15 meters it's not that difficult to three shot as long as you can land at least one headshot and two body shots you are able to three shot now you will need to be aiming for that upper chest area to make sure that you're able to get those chest shots and the headshots if you're just straight up aiming for the head then your gun will probably kick too high and you're going to miss your shots so i would recommend when you're kind of in this closer range area to just aim for the upper chest that way at the very worst case scenario you'll be getting that four shot kill in the chest and best case scenario you will get some headshots in there as well to make sure you're getting that three shot kill and again if you're not rewarded with that three shot kill it's still a very respectable time to kill of 253 milliseconds if you get that four shot kill which is on the quicker side of things and also four shotting is very easy so this is going to be your typical time to kill now the only way you can five shot kill at this range which is by the way not good is if you hit four or five leg shots or you miss shots so just make sure when you're at this range of zero to 15 meters you're not hitting leg shots and you can but just make sure you're not hitting a lot of them and also make sure you're not missing shots so my advice is just kind of aim for the stomach or chest area if you do want to be getting headshots then start aiming a little bit higher then from 16 to 65 meters which will end up being about 75 percent of your fights three shotting is possible but not really worth going for because to do this you'll actually have to hit around two to three headshots which is really really difficult four shotting at this range is still pretty simple uh you can actually hit two leg shots and two body shots or you could just hit body shots so at these longer ranges aiming for the center mass which is around like the hip area or the stomach is pretty much the best way for you to actually ensure you're getting those safe four shot kills which again is a extremely fast time to kill of about 253 milliseconds well when i say extremely fast it's not that fast at closer ranges but this can go all the way up to 65 meters so if you're getting this time to kill at like 65 meters it's going to be extremely fast after 65 meters four or five shotting will require headshots and at this range that's extremely difficult so most of the time you're going to be six or seven shotting so i just recommend tap firing body shots at this range or just not even fighting at this range in general there's definitely better weapons for 65 meters and beyond so as you can tell the hvk with this attachment is not super easy to use because you have to aim for certain parts of the body and try to hit headshots but when you do hit those headshots or you are consistent with the upper body shots this weapon can kill extremely extremely fast very very competitive but obviously this weapon does have downsides so let's go ahead and talk about that and then i'll give you guys my final opinions so probably the biggest downside is that your magazine is going to be stuck at 25 you can't do anything to get it higher which really sucks because this weapon does shoot pretty fast so you're going to burn through ammo very very quickly but there is a caveat to this which does kind of fix this problem a little bit they don't mention this but the large caliber ammunition actually does reload a little bit faster than the typical hvk the typical hvk will reload in 1.95 seconds whereas this magazine will reload in 1.65 so it is a little bit quicker so that does help a little bit and another thing is you can just put on the slide of hand perk to reload even faster so as long as you're very aware of your ammo and you reload whenever you're able to i noticed that ammo wasn't that big of a problem unless you're trying to nuke in which case you will 100 percent need vulture because i did run out of ammo a lot and would have to pick up someone else's gun Next up is the ADS speed of this weapon. Now, the typical ADS speed is going to be 266 milliseconds, whereas the ADS speed with this attachment is 283 milliseconds. So that's about a 6.5% increase in the ADS time, which is not good, by the way. It's not a terrible decrease, and honestly, you probably wouldn't notice it unless you're kind of used to the HVK, which more than likely people aren't. But the build that I will talk about very soon kind of fixes that problem. Then next up is going to be the vertical recoil control, which I actually did test, and I'll show you guys right now what it looks like before and after. And as you can tell it's really not that much worse with the large caliber ammunition and it really it's not that bad i think you can get used to it pretty easily and luckily it is vertical recoil and a vertical recoil is very easy to control you literally just pull down it's very predictable so so i think the more that you actually use this weapon the more you'll get used to it and the less of a problem it'll actually become so that is going to be everything that you actually need to know about this attachment. Now, my final opinions on it, I tried this for the very first time and I was very surprised on how well this actually worked. Now, one thing about this is you do have to be a pretty skilled player to actually use this attachment effectively because number one you need to aim in the right parts of the body and number two you have to be reloading at basically all the right times because again you're going to shred through ammo super fast so you do have to be very smart about your reloads but in terms of the class that i do actually really enjoy with this weapon you can see it right here the ykm integral suppressor heavy i personally really like it does reduce your ads speed a little bit but we do have two attachments that will fix that but basically you're getting better accuracy lateral recoil control and you're being suppressed so you can be really stealthy 
happy. So I really like this on this weapon. Uh, then we have sleight of hand, like I said before, to kind of help with the reload speed. You could ditch that attachment if you'd like to and maybe put on a sight or something, but I think the sights on this weapon are all right. So I did do sleight of hand. OWC laser tactical to increase my ADS speed and increase my accuracy as well. The only downside is people can see this, but that's not a big deal because they can only see it as soon as you actually ADS. So most of the time by that point, they're already dead. Large caliber ammo, obviously, and then stippled grip tape, which is also going to help my ADS speed a little bit because we did lose some with that barrel, which overall makes this a pretty solid gun. The mobility, as you can see, is actually boosted in the end. The only thing you're really losing is control, which is totally fine because the ranges that you use this weapon at, typically you don't need that much control. It will take a couple kills to actually get used to the recoil pattern or maybe a couple games, but once you do that, it is very, very controllable and you can take this weapon to pretty far ranges. And again, it burns at close range. The only thing is the ADS speed isn't fastest necessarily necessarily but definitely try this class the ads speed will be pretty solid for most players unless you're used to like the msmc or something like that with stippled grip tape so my final opinions is this is going to be a great weapon i don't think it's too overpowered i think it is balanced kind of well by having a 25 round mag because then you can't just go on like crazy kill sprees necessarily um i do think it might end up getting a little nerf in the future because i would say it's a little bit above average or above where it should be but overall pretty solid and i definitely think you guys should grind for it and definitely try it out and see what you think yourself but with all of that being said i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you guys later